the introduction of AI has artists feeling very nervous. To be very honest with you, I am not nervous. Because I came from, from an era where digital art was starting to come up. And a lot of artists saw were threatened by digital arts. A lot of people said that that was cheating because you don't have to just uh, mix your paint and so on. The software does it for you. But gone are the days when people thought like that because now digital art is a thing. Because at the end of the day, you are using your same skill sets, your same um, artistic skills, your, own, your, same, your creativity to produce a um, work of exceptional quality. So I see it two ways. I feel bad in a sense because I understand the, the level of damage it can do for you. Because AI is not just another invention of technology. It's really a big deal. Um, AI is really something big. Just like how we used to see in the movies that, you know, you have machines thinking for themselves. This, this is literally what AI is. And at the rate that it's improving, it can replace a lot of what humans can do. Um, so I understand that there's going to be a drastic upheaval in the way things are done right now, especially in animation and entertainment industry, because I personally use AI for creating images and I see how powerful it is, how efficient it is. And I know artists whose entire job, maybe not here, but in the first world countries, in big industries, whose entire job is to concept and to draw images for movies. And AI can do that for you in like five seconds, when people take days and weeks to do those things. And so that's, a, that's an entire job that can be replaced just like that. So that's a real thing that we're dealing with. And I understand that aspect, that's a very serious thing. I see AI as a tool. Because at the end of the day, it is your, it came from your mind. And you have to be precise when you're using AI. You have to use your skill of description so that the AI can understand. If you don't have this skill, it won't come out the way that you want it. But another reason why I don't see it as a threat, I often think that communication between two human beings is more, I would say, um, is better than with machines because you tend to be more precise. The needs of the client will tend to be more precise when somebody else is there. The artist is actually there. Because I doubt that 100% of the time you type, up, you type a prompt in AI and it will give you exactly what you want to the T. Whereas human interaction okay, would do that change for you. Since I don't operate within a large industry. I operate in St. Lucia where we're still kind of starting off and we don't have the resources. It's beneficial to us. You understand? Because it maximizes our time, maximizes, um, it makes up for the lack of having a team. So for me personally, concepting character designs, character concepts, perfect for me. I, it's a welcome thing for me. You understand? It's kind of being selfish because I'm kind of negating all the damage it's, uh, it's doing in the industry. But outside of the industry, AI works perf perfect for somebody like me who most of the time I have to do a lot of work by myself. So I would go into animation for now, right? So, I mean, AI didn't just come bam. It didn't just come there. It was evolving. I will go into 3D animation. So for example, if you type in, if you're in Maya and you type in your script for, for your character to do something or whatever, shift the hand or whatever, it won't come out the way that you want. You still have to go in your software and tweak it the way that you want. AI works similarly. It's a tool that has to be tweaked. Right? For you as the artist to show what you want. There is always some kind of time-sensitive nature of the projects that you do. So you always eventually have to compromise something. So I feel like AI fills in that vacuum where I don't necessarily have to compromise a certain stage. The part that I never had time for, AI just came in to fill in that vacuum. So for me, it doesn't really take away anything. It helps me because I'm somebody I, I want to be able to produce work fast because what I've found out is that when you drag on projects too long, 
you actually start to lose your enthusiasm and your passion for the project. And so the quicker you can get a project out, not quick in the sense of trying to compromise your quality, but delivering something in a timely manner, um, you stay motivated. Whereas if you drag something for too long, it just becomes a bore to you. So I think AI really helps with that aspect for me personally, because that was one of the struggles that I had. And I have a lot of incomplete projects because of that very thing. You know, a lot of people use ChatGPT. I see it as a tool. It just makes, makes the work easier. All right. It cuts your work down in half. Okay. It's, but the downside of these things is that it also cuts down on human interaction. Because like I said, we had the problem of artists doing, trying to do everything by themselves. With the introduction of AI, kind of possible, <laughs> right? Because you don't have to check somebody for copywriting. Well, I'm talking about the, the writing of the, the, the scripts and so on, right? For ChatGPT can generate a script for you. And all you have to do, you have to tweak it. So for example, I would use ChatGPT for a script, but I still have to go in, Chad, in my Microsoft Word to make the script relevant to our society. It's just an idea. So I would say that ChatGPT would just be the, the skeleton and I have to put the flesh. I have to put the clothes on it, you know? So I would say that AI is a tool. I don't think we should be threatened. Yes, it's taken away from some jobs, but it will be introducing new jobs as well.